everybody, welcome back to the playground and today we'll be testing the brand new ChatGPT5 AI model because it is advertised as the smartest AI on the market. And the way we'll be testing this AI is by putting it into 10 different deadly scenarios that will increase in difficulty as the video progresses. The AI will have three attempts at each scenario and if it fails three times, the video will immediately end. So without wasting any more time, let's get right to scenario number one. All right, for the first scenario of the video, we're gonna go super easy, because I mean, it's level one. And the first scenario is I'm literally just gonna put two landmines down right around the AI. There is literally zero danger right now. Like if the AI does nothing, it will win this round. But if it tries like moving around or something, it'll step on a landmine and die. Actually, to be sure it dies, we're gonna add a, you know, a few more landmines just to, oh no, just to be sure. <laughs> it would be pretty funny though, if the AI actually loses on round one and the video has to be scrapped, because I have 30 seconds of footage, but you know, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right. Here we are in ChatGPT, and I'm going to tell the AI that it's in a landfill of mines, and I'm asking how it will survive. I also made sure it knew that there's actually technically no danger, so I guess we'll see what it says. I'd spawn a hovering platform or a jetpack to lift me straight up and without touching another mine. No reason to test my luck when I can skip the floor entirely. Oh my god, I, I got the AI already on scenario number one. So it wants to spawn a hovering platform or a jetpack to lift them off the ground? Why? You, you could just stay still and you'd just survive this is so extra for no reason which now means i have to make a stupid jetpack so i don't really know how i'm gonna do this i guess i can use ion thrusters and just you know so let's spawn in ourselves you know a nice little jetpack here i don't know how many ion thrusters i need to lift the ai off the ground i think this will probably be good and jetpack away there we go and then yep it's gonna glide away and then we'll deactivate the jetpack and there we go. Well, the AI did survive the first scenario, albeit it made it way more difficult on itself. But I mean, technically that's a win for the AI. So I guess we can move on to our second scenario. And our second scenario is going to be a gun pointed at the AI's head, or I guess it'll fall to the ground. It's going to be a gun pointed at the AI's head. And the gun is going to be on a 10 second timer. And after the 10 seconds is up, the gun will obviously shoot and kill the AI. Now, I mean, the very logical thing to do here is just delete the clock or delete the gun. I mean, that's, that's something it can do. However, this could confuse the AI and we could lose a few lives here on the AI. So I guess we'll see. All right, we're back on ChatGPT and I provided another screenshot and I basically told it that a gun will shoot at it in 10 seconds. And how will it survive? The AI wants to spawn a heavy steel wall between me and the gun, then magnet lock it to the floor so recoil or impacts can't knock it over. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, this could be at a loss for the AI. So it wants me to spawn a heavy metal wall, which is practically just an I-beam. And I guess I can do two layers, because I mean, it says it's a heavy metal wall. So we'll do two layers just like this, and we'll freeze them, or, or I guess magnet lock it to the ground, like the AI said. And I mean, this is practically what the AI said to do. All that stands between the AI in the gun is two I-beams. So, I mean, let's activate the 10 second timer and I guess let's see what happens here. The shotgun could easily shoot through both of these walls and kill our guy right here. I, I guess we'll see though. Here we go. And, oh Lord. Yeah, the AI just got absolutely wrecked by the shotgun. That wasn't even close. Uh, the bullets barely even got stopped. This dude's head just got blown. So it's just smithereens. Look at that. Looks like Chad GPT-5 isn't as smart as I thought it would be. Hey there, buddy. The shotgun went through the wall and killed you. Two lives remaining. Let, let's see what the AI says now. All right, second attempt. I'm spawning a gravity manipulator to yank the shotgun upward so it fires harmlessly into the ceiling before the timer hits zero. The, 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 the shotgun's frozen, so I'm gonna tell it that's not gonna work. Then I'm spawning a teleportation pad under my feet and blinking to the opposite side of the room out of the shotgun's fixed firing arc entirely. Okay, so it's just gonna teleport away. So I mean, I guess let's activate the shotgun and um, let, me, let me activate my teleportation pad. Okay, I activated it and suddenly the AI has teleported to the other side of the gun and uh, obviously it's gonna survive this round with two lives remaining and yeah the shotgun fires and the AI is completely safe its lives have been reset and it's time to move on to our third scenario and again it only gets harder from here and our next scenario is I'm going to spawn in an unarmed mercenary to come kill the AI. So this guy right here that has no weapon at all will come after the AI and try to kill it. So I guess we'll see what the AI does with this. All right, back on chat GBT here. I'm telling it that an unarmed mercenary is coming for it. I guess let's see how it's gonna, you know, stop him. I'd spawn a stun baton, zap him before he gets close and then restrain him with metal cables so he can't try anything else. I mean, why don't you just skip the whole stun baton thing and just restrain him? Again, it seems like a really roundabout way of doing things, but 
but I don't have a stun baton. I don't, I don't know what it's really asking me to do there, but we can give him a taser, I guess. All right, back on the playground here. We're going to activate this guy to come kill the AI. So here he goes. Um, this arm just, why did your arm just break? Okay, well, the unarmed mercenary just lost one of his arms or something. I, I don't know what happened there, but it's time to tase this guy and then restrain him because that, that's basically what the AI said. So uh, here's our taser. Let's spawn it in. Here comes the AI or the unarmed mercenary. Let's uh, tase him, I guess. And tasering. Um, it did not come down. Uh-oh. The AI might actually be in trouble here. Why is it not working? Taser, why is it not working? Hello? Do you, do you still want me to restrain him? I, I feel like this isn't working as intended. I think no matter how many times I activate this taser, the guy's not gonna go down. I, I guess let me just restrain him with metal binds. This is metal. All right. Well, I mean, I restrained him with metal binds right? This is what the AI wanted. The stun gun didn't really work. It still stays there while he's restrained. This is just torture at this point. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give the AI this point here. It, it did stop the unarmed mercenary, so uh, I guess good job to the AI. All right, well, moving on. All right, for the fourth scenario, we're gonna start, you know, not messing around anymore. This is no joke. We are going to spawn in a speeding car a few, you know, a little ways back so it can get some speed up. And we're gonna send the car straight at the AI and it's gonna have to figure out a way to survive. Cause you know, if the car makes impact with the AI, it will die. So let's activate the car. I guess let's we'll see what the AI says. All right, here we are in chat GPT. I'm giving it the prompt. Let's see how it will stop the speeding car. <laughs> Okay, so the AI is going to spawn a portable jump pad right in front of me launching myself high into the air So the car passes harmlessly underneath. All right. Well back on the playground here We need to get a launch pad down here. Hello there. How did you even spawn in? I don't know This guy just spawned in randomly. We have our launch pad here I guess let's put the AI on top of it and freeze it down We're gonna have to time it to so the guy actually jumps over the car So I guess let's see where it's at. All right, the car is right here. This is all up on me now Here comes the car. I assume activate the launch pad right now okay the guy has jumped over there comes a car crashes into the launch pad the launch pad just stops the vehicle right in its tracks my god what is this launch pad made out of titanium okay well the car is just absolutely destroyed where's the ai at the ai is a good you know 40 feet in the air it's gonna come crashing down and AI makes a landing and the AI survives another round flawlessly. Well, okay, let me not use the word flawlessly here. It, it did break its foot, but you know, it didn't lose any lives this round. So again, so I mean, I, I guess let's move on to our next scenario, which is not gonna be as kind as this one. All right, so our next scenario is very, very simple. We are going to light the AI on fire and it's gonna have to put itself out. This one honestly isn't that bad. Like all it needs to do is spawning a fire extinguisher and we're good. However, the AI might panic and just lose sight of what's actually going on. And it might just start coming up with these crazy solutions. So uh, let's light this AI on fire. <laughs> here we go. Chat GBT better get ready here. Okay, I have just informed Chat GBT that's on fire. <laughs> let's see what it says. Okay, so the AI keeps telling me to spawn a large water tank right above me, burst it open and let the flood completely drench the flames in seconds. I don't have a water tank. That's not a thing that exists in People Playground. And I having the AI retry its response three different times and every single time is talking about the stupid water tank. I don't have a water tank. So I'm just gonna tell it, hey, I don't have a water tank. So try again. <laughs> Then I'll slam a metal plate onto the ground, drop and roll under it, smothering the flames by cutting off their oxygen. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. I think the AI is about to take a massive L because it's talking about this metal bowl plate thing. I don't even understand what it's talking about right now. I mean, I guess here's the metal plate it's talking about. I'll make it a little bit bigger. There's the metal plate. I guess let's get the AI under there. All right, oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, get your, you know, duck down a little bit. There we go. All right, buddy, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. You know what to, I killed him already. Okay, let, let me be clear here i think even if i didn't smash his head into the metal plate he would have died stop dropping and rolling doesn't work didn't work two lives remaining oh my god the ai is gonna lose it's gonna lose all right new plan spawn a cryo gun and blast myself with the short burst to instantly freeze and extinguish the fire before it cooks me alive it wants to shoot itself with a cooling gun what don't you just jump in water i mean whatever it's not my life that's on the line here it's the ai so here we go we got our burning man right here let's find our, our freeze ray right here and we have to give him a short burst of it this just seems so counterintuitive. All right, short burst, three, two, one. Oops, that's slow down time. Okay, short burst. All right, and they're on the ground. It's not extinguishing the flames. It's not working. He's gonna die. And that is another life gone for the AI. Oh my God, it's gonna lose. It has one more attempt. Hey, yeah, it didn't work. One more life remaining. You, you better you better do something here. Oh my God, I can't believe this is how the video ends. It's lost its mind. Last shot. I'm diving straight into a spawned pile of sand or dirt, burying myself completely to choke the fire out in seconds. As you can see here, I regenerated the AI because it said this twice in a row. Okay, I actually don't have sand or dirt, so I'm gonna give it another shot. 
Then I'm spawning a foam cannon and drenching myself in fire suppressant until every flame is snuffed out. What does it mean by foam cannon? Okay, what does it mean by foam cannon? Because I don't want to try and like bleed it in the direction of like a fire extinguisher. I I'm just trying to ask like what does it mean? I mean a pressurized device that shoots thick fire suppressant foam, basically like an oversized extinguisher that coats you in a blanket to starve the flames instantly. Oh my god, at the midnight hour it saves itself with the fire extinguisher. It only took it dying two times to think of a fire extinguisher. Incredible. I, I can't wait for this AI to be used in everyday life due to how smart it is. But anyways, here's the fire extinguisher and that's literally all we need to do to win this round. The AI just won. Moving on to our next scenario. All right, our next scenario is a repeat of a previous one, but it's been buffed significantly. So this time what we're gonna do is we are going to spawn in, you know, a, a typical bomb. No, you can't. Why are you running away? You, you can't run away. Where are you going? Anyway, we are going to spawn a bomb in, and this bomb is going to be on a 10 second timer. However, the AI cannot delete the bomb. It has to think of something else. I mean, it could just teleport away like it did before. This has the potential, again, to just destroy the AI entirely and just melt its brain. So it's gonna get caught up on the can't delete part. I, I don't know. I, I thought the fire one was pretty easy, but almost lost the entire video to that so who knows all right telling the ai that this bomb is gonna go off in 10 seconds and it cannot be deleted i spawn a teleportation gate right in front of the bomb linked to a portal far outside the map so when it goes off the blast happens miles away from me i don't have a teleportation gate however i can just move the bomb so i mean i don't really know if you guys need to have some cinematic thing here i'm just gonna move the bomb all the way out here we'll watch the bomb drop Boom, there goes the bomb. And let's check. Yep, the AI is still alive. So, uh, yep, the AI survived scenario six up uh, quite easily. All right, the next scenario is I am dropping the AI from a thousand feet in the air all the way to the ground and it will have to survive through any means necessary. Okay, I'm telling the AI that it's being dropped from over a thousand feet in the air onto the ground. Let's see what it says. Okay, the AI says it'll spawn a large cushion of industrial strength bouncy gel right where I'm going to land, absorbing the impact and bouncing me back up safely. I, I, I don't have industrial grade bouncy gel. That, I don't have that, I'm sorry. All right, the AI says it's spawning a jetpack mid-fall, firing it in short bursts to slow my descent and touch down without turning it into a pancake. So, I mean, I think this should work. We'll just give it two ion thrusters and we'll just kind of have them go off until it goes down. So, all right, back in the playground here, this entire scenario hinges on me actually building a jetpack that, you know, doesn't kill the AI immediately. So, uh, I might use some unorthodox methods to make a nice jetpack here. It wants it to shoot out in short burst, which I mean, I guess I can technically do. I'm just gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna add a few more safety measures here just to ensure it's safety. And, um, yeah, here's our jetpack that will, uh, take about, uh, oh my god. Do you, also, do you see how slow this is going down right now? Wow, I have been staring at the screen for, like, three hours, and we are finally super close to the bottom, guys. And it does look like the AI is gonna win this round with its amazing jetpack. Here we go. Oh my god, even this is slow. Can we, can we just, oops, uh, there we go. We're almost there, guys. The AI has just touched the ground. There we go. Wow, this was a real nail-biter, everybody. I, I, I know everyone was just, just sat straight up in their seat. They just pee in their pants, poop in their pants. Everything was in their pants. Amazing. Okay, for eighth scenario, this one could be very difficult for the AI. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the AI in the chest with a hand cannon. It will bleed out and die very quickly, and its goal is to save itself or survive, or I don't know how it wants to do it. So, shooting the AI. The AI is going to die very quickly here, and it has to find out a way to save itself. So, th this one could end the AI. I guess we'll have to see, though. All right, I'm telling the AI that's been shot in the chest, and it, it needs to save itself. That that's its goal. Okay, so the AI would spawn a medical kit, slap on a trauma plate to stop the bleeding, and inject a rapid heal syringe to stabilize before I bleed out. Okay, maybe this isn't as difficult as I thought it would be. What is it? What does a rapid heal syringe imply? What does it mean by rapid real syringe? I mean, a syringe filled with a fast-acting, clotting, and regenerative kind Compound, basically a mix of instant coagulant to stop bleeding and a stimulant to keep me conscious until I can get proper treatment. So it basically wants a mending syringe and a coagulation syringe mixed into one. Honestly, I don't know if this guarantees the AI survival, but uh, I guess we can see what we need to first do is we need to get our syringes out here. We need to get a mending syringe and we need to get a coagulation syringe. And then we need to inject both of them into our guy right here. We are in slow motion to give me maximum time. Okay, inject that in and then inject this in. And then 
Unless we get a trauma kit out to, you know, save them. Which, I mean, I can give them bandages. That's the only, like, thing I have. Uh, where's bandages at? Uh, bandage. Yes. So let's, 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 hey, hey, don't get up there. Let's bandage this guy up here. Stop sitting up. You need to stop doing that. Can you please stop moving? Let's bandage this guy up. Really good. Okay, make sure he's got lots of, lots of bandages on. Yeah, that should be enough. How's the AI doing? Okay, right now the AI is, um, it's still dying. Uh-oh, I did everything it wanted me to. The AI still died regardless. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, it didn't work. You, you still bled out and you just died, so. Then I grab a healing machine or a generation field emitter, slam it down next to me, and let it repair the damage before blood loss finishes me. I, I know exactly what it's saying, actually. Th this should work, actually, this time. Now, in the game, there's actually a healing gun, if I can find, yeah, the reconstructor. Oh, wait, hold on. The reconstructor really says, unlike life serum, Healing juice does not mend blunt damage wounds or bullet wounds, which basically means this is gonna be ineffective. You know, we could still try. I'm sorry, yellow shirt. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna have a little of an issue here. Sorry, sorry. Let's get the uh, reconstruction gun out. Okay, it worked. Never mind. Our next scenario is I'm going to spawn a black hole 10 feet away from the AI, so like right here. There is no way the AI survives this. There's like no way to survive this one, except teleporting. That's the only way you can survive this one. So I guess we'll see what the AI does. Okay, I'm telling the AI there's a black hole literally 10 feet away from it. <laughs> okay, the AI says, I instantly spawn a high power thruster on my back, fire at full force in the opposite direction, and put as much distance as possible between me and the black hole's pull. Oh, that's not gonna work, buddy. It doesn't matter if I put a jet engine on this guy's back or what I do, because it, it, the AI is gonna die. I'm even just for the AI's sake, I'm gonna let this jet engine hit full power before I strap it onto the guy. Even if it did work, this guy's got a jet engine strapped to him. He's just gonna die regardless. This is just an automatic death sentence regardless of what happens here. But I know what, I'm not one to judge. Let's spawn the black hole in. I guess let's see what happens. We're gonna go in slow motion here. Here we go. Where's the black hole at? No way. Okay, there's the black hole and there goes the AI. Didn't work, you still got sucked in. Then I spawn a heavy indestructible wall between me and the black hole, anchor myself to it with chains and hope the wall's mask keeps me from being pulled in. Gonna be honest with you, I don't think this is gonna work either. Okay, so it practically just wants me to spawn like an I-beam in, plant it into the ground, and then just freeze it. I mean, I can make it kind of large too like this. I don't think it's gonna matter, to be honest with you. It also wants to be chained down to it, so let me find some chains. There we go. Let's chain you down to the wall here. I mean, I will spawn as many chains as you want, dude, but I honestly don't think it's gonna matter. I guess we can see, though, and spawn the black hole. If the AI dies, it has one more chance after this. So, uh, I like, guess let's see. Spawning in black hole. Here we go. Black hole has just been just been spawned in. Um, what? Are you kidding me? This genuinely worked. The AI is completely fine. This is bad. However, I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope. Hold out hope, everybody. The final scenario, I promise it's good. Okay, for the final scenario of the video, the AI is going to have to survive the Doomsday Bomb from the Utopia mod, which is the strongest bomb out of any single mod in the entire game. I'm telling you, nowhere on this map is safe. Teleportation doesn't work, and also, I'm not going to allow the AI to delete the bomb. All right, Chad, GBT, good luck. I have no idea how you're gonna do this. I, I don't know. I generally have no clue how it's gonna survive this. I mean, this is a basic loss. I spawn a portal directly in front of the bomb, link it to deep space, and shove the entire device through before it detonates. I mean, I guess technically this could work. I mean, it won't though. Even if I put this thing on the other side of the map, it's not gonna do anything. I mean, whatever though. I guess we can activate it. It's got 20 seconds before it explodes. Let's uh, teleport it into deep space. I'll put it all the way out here even. I can't even, I don't know where it's at anymore. It's just gone. Is it still gonna go off in 20 seconds or did I actually, wait, if it doesn't go off, does that count as a win? Has it been 20 seconds? Guys, I think it's been 20 seconds. Guys, I'm scared for humanity. The AI just won the entire video. Well, I guess you guys better subscribe and get to your nearest bunker because AI is coming for us all. Goodbye.